it's nine o'clock and I'm up for the just got up for the day. Um so she woke up one, two, three three times to feed and then this last time like at eight thirty, which is when I ended up getting up, so in between feedings she was pretty good or at least like Chris was there to kind of take care of her so I feel like I actually slept like probably five or six hours <laughs> out of the past few days is like kind of a lot and I'm sure I'll end up taking a nap at some point today too so my total sleep for the day might actually get all the way up to eight hours that'd be crazy but either way I just I feel like actually rested actually ready for the day way better than I felt the last two mornings um some like the big difference between last night and the other nights was I literally pretty much just fed her and Chris kind of did everything else like if she needed a diaper change if she was just being fussy and wanted to be held like he was doing all of that he said I just talked to him you just got up too uh and he said he pretty much was up all night now, there was a few times I woke up that he was sleeping, so I know we got, like, little naps here and there, but, um, yeah, it was, so I was actually able to get, like, hour to two hour increments of uninterrupted sleep. Alright, so, doctor's appointment went great. She is at five pounds and seven ounces, so I think what she was at at the hospital before we left, but they said that it was a good weight for her to be at um and no issues there's no jaundice or um not really sure what so much what else it looks for but they said everything looks good we're going back in a week um she's been being a really good baby today right when we got back from the doctors we went next door to papa's house and she got a little bit fussy while we were there, but mostly it was just chill, sleeping. We watched a TV show, and mm, today she's kind of—I mean, obviously you're take, kind of worried and taking care of a baby all day, but like for the most part, it just felt like a normal day, normal life, a little bit. The uh, pediatrician asked me if my milk was coming. I was like, I can't really tell. I kind of feel like last night I was feeling a little tender in my boobs, so maybe that means that it is. Um, but I'm gonna call today to set up a thing with a lactation consultant just to meet somebody and make sure everything's fine um i definitely like have more difficulty feeding on the excuse me on the left side than on the right so i don't know if i'm like it's just the way she's positioned or what um, but i think it'll be good to uh, talk to her about that make sure that we're doing good on both sides come here baby girl look at your little face Um, and then as far as like how I'm feeling otherwise, pretty good. Like I'm definitely like a little sore and tender down there, especially on the spot where I had torn. I can definitely like feel it when I go to the bathroom or certain ways I sit. Like sitting on the toilet is the way that is when I notice it the most. But like right now sitting on the couch, I don't even feel like pain or discomfort or anything. Um, having some cramping, but I've got Motrin to kind of stay on top of that. My back started hurting a little bit today. I don't know what that's from. Just maybe sleeping on the hospital bed or... Baby has been home for almost whole 24 hours and I will say like, it's so much better being home than it was being in the hospital, I think. I mean, yeah, you have the nurses and stuff there to help you and it's like kind of reassuring, but I don't, it's just, just comfortable to be home and relaxing to be home. Seriously, that's my head. That's the back of my head. I'm looking at my hair. Sweet girl. Hey, baby Bobby. Hey, baby Bobby. Oh, oh hey. Wow, you cutie. Me and Bobby just chilling, hanging out. I haven't really done too awful much today after the doctor's appointment. Just kind of random stuff around that I've been needing to get done. I kind of feel like, I don't know if it's like baby brain or just too many things going on, but I feel like I'll start like a million things or start something and then go to something else and go to something else before I get anything really actually done. Um, 
But you know, just kind of trying to put the house a little bit back in order after the explosion that like it was kind of still is from coming home from the hospital. But things are looking a little bit better. Luckily, our house was totally clean um, before we left the hospital since I cleaned when I'm upset and I was upset I had to be induced. So it worked out kind of well. Um, but Chris's lovely cousin bought us some pizza, had it sent to the house. I don't even have to worry about dinner. Um, and Chris is still sleeping. I mean, it's only like six o'clock, so he's really only been sleeping for like three and a half hours. To get a couple things put together and definitely some like paperworky stuff worked out, get some appointments made, um, and uh, stuff figured out with work, just dis like disability and with school and all that fun stuff. Um, ah, one more important little update is pretty sure my milk came in because for one, I'm feeling like my boobs feel kind of hard and they were feeling a little bit sore yesterday but I couldn't tell if that was just from breastfeeding or what that was. But yeah, they were like kind of like firm today and it was the first time she actually had like a real spit up. So obviously she's getting some like real liquid in there and not just like the little drops of colostrum. So that's exciting. And she only fed for like 10 minutes and was straight done. She like didn't want the boob anymore. Gentle. Gentle. We turned Duke into a baby. <laughs> I swear the way she looked at me was like, what? Yeah. You can do that. <laughs> Don't do that to me. 